Today is a great day because we are here for chapel. We are here to hear God's word and sing his praise. But today is also a great day because this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, Lexi gets an A. When Mr. Whitney says this is the day that the Lord has made, you all boldly proclaim, let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's try that again. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This side is winning. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am going to start with a song today. This song that we are doing is a song that talks about a special person. A special person that you need to know about Remy Joe. When I am talking, you are listening. Remy Joe. Remy Joe. Hi. Do you know who I'm talking about? Nope, not Jesus. Nope, not God. No, nope, this is about somebody who wanted to see Jesus. But he couldn't because he was too short. Too short. His name was Zacchaeus. Everybody say Zacchaeus. Oh, you got to say it correctly. Zacchaeus. He was a wee little man and he took a trip. Jesus was walking along and Zacchaeus couldn't see him, so what did he do? He climbed up a really tall tree and then Jesus was like, hey, get down from that tree. Let's go. And he did. Will you please stand up? And we start with our hands way up. Way up down. Here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down, for I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Wow, that was so slow. You think we can do it fast? Big kids aren't even standing up. I don't even think they know how to stand. Oh, you can't go faster if you're sitting. All right, here we go. Arms way up, down. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down! For I'm going to your house today, for I'm going to your house today. Good. I will do it faster. If you can all clap at the exact same time as me. Mm, I don't know. We gotta try again. That was close. That was like 93%. Oh! All right, here we go. Ready? There we go. Your arms are way up, down. And here we go. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and wee little man was he. He climbed up in a sycamore tree for the Lord he wanted to see. And as the Savior passed his way, he looked up in the tree, and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm going to your house today. I'm going to your house today. Ah, oh, wow. You, you may have a quiet seat. You may have a quiet seat. You may have a quiet seat. Here, why, let's go find your seat. And now I need everybody to 
rest their hands gently in front of them like this. 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 Not everybody's doing it, gentlemen. And now you are going to be a good listener. Good morning, friends. So last week, Miss Tia had a test for you guys. This week, Miss Sarah has a test for the teachers. Do you think you guys will be able to pass your test? <laughs> I didn't study either. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. All right, first let's hold our fingers and get ready to speak to Jesus. Ready? I want you to repeat after me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus prepare my heart, prepare my heart and, my and my ears to take in your word. Take in your word. Amen. Amen. All right, first we're going to start off with a verse. Our verse is, our verse is going to be from Colossians 4. To devote yourself to prayer, being watchful and thankful. So this week we're going to talk about prayers and different ways we can pray. I need some help from my friends. Who can tell me what this is? Um, Adeline, what is this? A stapler. Um, raise your hand. Who can tell me what this is? Oh, great job. Everybody, what is it? It's a marker. And everybody help me out. What are these little pieces of? Paper. All right. Miss Sarah has already created one of these, but we are going to do prayer chains. Like our verse, it says that we need to be thankful when we pray. So we want to be intentional with these thankful prayers by maybe doing it in a different way. You can always fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads to speak to Jesus. But we can also do it in different ways, like making a prayer chain, or maybe you do other things when you pray. So here is our test for the teachers. Miss Sarah made her chain. Let's talk about Miss Sarah's chain. The first link on Miss Sarah's chain that she is so grateful and thankful for is my family that God birthed me into. Then I have the next chain is my husband's family, the family that I got to marry into that Jesus led my way to. The next chain is my husband. Then I have our baby that I am thankful for that we're going to have. Then I have our dog that I'm very thankful that I have. I'm very thankful for my health because I've been able to stay fairly healthy. And I'm thankful for my friends. So now it is time for the teachers. And the teachers are going to make one chain right now during chapel of things that we are thankful for. And then I have stuff for your teachers to take to your classrooms, and then you guys can make a big classroom chain. Okay? So the first thing, I will be the first teacher. I am thankful for my students in my class. Um, you are my students. <laughs> Miss Lexi, what are you very thankful for? Miss Lexi is thankful for nice weather. Um, Miss April, what are you thankful for? Miss April is thankful for her family. Danica, what are you thankful for? Miss Danica is very thankful for her mom. 
Miss Adriana, what are you thankful for? Miss Adriana is so thankful for Jesus himself. Miss Susie, what are you thankful for? Miss Susie is thankful for her friends. Mr. Matt, what are you thankful for? For school? School, got it. Mr. Matt is very thankful for the school that he works in. Ms. Kayton, what are you thankful for? Ms. Kayton is thankful for family. Ms. Hannah? Ms. Hannah is thankful for all the teachers she gets to work with. Ms. Kalina, what are you thankful for? Ms. Kalina is thankful for family. Ms. Mallory, what are you thankful for? Music. Ms. Mallory is thankful for music. Ms. Kelsey, what are you thankful for? The outdoors. Ms. Kelsey is thankful for the outdoors. All right, let's close in prayer with all the things that teachers are thankful for. So close your finger, or fold your fingers, close your eyes, and bow your head. You do not have to repeat after me. We are just, Miss Sarah is just going to pray this time. Jesus, thank you for allowing us to gather today for chapel. Thank you for many things, but we want to thank you for certain things that our teachers are thankful. We are thankful for the outdoors. We are thankful for music that you give us. We are thankful for the family that you have provided us. We are thankful for the teachers that we work with every day to provide great things for our children. We are thankful for the school that we work in with those teachers. We're thankful for the friends that we make along our days and ways. We are thankful for you, especially Jesus, for dying on the cross, for giving us of our sins. We may be thankful for our mother that is a part of our great wide family. We are thankful for the nice weather that you have been providing, and we are thankful for the students that you give to us every day. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you, Miss Sarah, for that enthrallingly prayerful message. We know that prayer is a gift from God. It is when we can talk to God and tell him all the things we are thankful for. And uh, one of the big things that we are thankful for is for him sending his son Jesus down to earth so that he could die and rise again for the sins of everyone in the world, including yourself and all the others in the world. Therefore, we are going to close with a song that reminds us of three simple truths. That Jesus loves all the other people in the world and also you. It's been a while. It's been a while. Will you please stand up and sing with me with little hearts full of joy.
have a seat. Thank you for joining us for chapel today. Uh, we are going to dismiss the toddlers first and then the preschoolers. If you are neither those classes, you will sit quietly, patiently.